What's up, everyone? Marty here. Welcome back to another episode of Thumbcraft 6. And look at all this. I've got a whole bunch of V batteries down here. Like, the whole floor is V batteries. I've got this thing all set up. Oh, looks like we got to put one up in there. Um, since I'm doing it all manual now. There we go. Got it. Um, we did get an update. I updated today. We are in beta number... 26 right now so we are in beta 26 and there are some new additions that we're going to check out today and the first thing is stabilizing the infusion is not the same as it was before it is completely different actually uh, so we're gonna have to craft some new things there we go I think we got everything good I think everything's good here I had to go down a little bit further I had to like drop that down just because uh, right above here is where I have the candles to help for infusion stabilization. Um, but up here you can see that all of my stabilizers, what used to be stabilizers, and my V generators are now gone. All right, so we're going to have to do something about that. But first and foremost, let's look in the Thalmanomicon because things have changed. So let's go to Arcane Infusion, and down here is the Infusion Stabilization. It is already unlocked for me because I had it before. Uh, and we now have a new item called a Redstone Inlay, and then just a regular old stabilizer. So the inlay looks like it's pretty simple to make. The stabilizer looks to be not too crazy. So anyway, I've put something, I've put together something I'm calling appropriately enough a stabilizer. The core of the stabilizer is made from a block of redstone that has been bombarded by V. As a result, it has become an instability magnet of sorts and stable magical energy is drawn to it and discharged as flux. While not ideal, flux is easier to manage than losing expensive crafting ingredients. While stabilizers provide a fair amount of stability to the infusion process, when placed near the altar, they have a much more important function. When discharges occur that would normally knock items off their pedestals or even destroy them, the discharge can instead be redirected to the stabilizer and absorbed. Unfortunately, the stabilizer needs a little help to perform this function. Pedestals you wish to protect need to be connected to the stabilizer via redstone inlay. This is placed much like normal redstone and even has similar limits as redstone. For example, the protective charge created by the stabilizer cannot reach more than 15 blocks. Pedestals themselves act as redstone inlay and will propagate the protective charge. A properly connected pedestal will have runes appear as its, at its base. When an instability discharge hits a protected pedestal, the discharge will travel along the inlay towards the nearest stabilizer and discharge there instead. This temporarily weakens the stabilizer and the protective charge will be reduced till the sta stabilizer has had a chance to discharge the unstable energy as flux. Hmm. Okay, so that's like the center of our thing. Right here is the center of our thing. So we're going to generate more flux in this area. All right, let's go back to finish reading. Um, I may wish to use multiple stabilizers to prevent overloading a single one and leaving some pedestals temporarily unprotected. It should be noted that redstone inlay provide a small amount of stability themselves, so I should take care to keep their placement properly balanced. Sweet. Okay, so it did say... Excuse me. It did say they... Uh, where is that thing? they uh they help reduce to begin with so let's just make a whole bunch of these i'm just gonna make like i don't know 48 three quarters of a stack how about that i'll just make a stack there we go all right not a big deal i'm rich man all right redstone inlay dude that's cool looking okay oh that's neat so a properly connected one will do that. Wow. Okay. I wonder, I'm trying to think of how I want to, because maybe we want these to come out like that or something. I want to make sure I leave these hoppers here. I don't want to get rid of those. Or maybe I move these hoppers like this one. I'll put like towards the inside because we want to do. Maybe we want to do two stabilizers, one on each one. So we could do one there, one there, 
We have one like here. We have one here. And then we'll do the same deal. Um, we'll put that on the inside. That shouldn't make a big deal, right? So those can go like that. That can go like that. We need to do this. And also, I was working on, um, before I tell you guys too much about it, um, I was doing the tree farm because somebody had mentioned the tree farm and that it is possible after the last episode. So I was playing around with it and I got it working pretty well. So we're going to check, take a look at that a little bit later. All right, so that's, that's that. I'm not sure I love how these look because you got that white right there. It looks kind of weird. Although right there it looks normal, but right there it does not. That's weird. All right, so let's go up. Oops. Let's go up and make a stabilizer. So we're going to need a carp complex arcane mechanism. Um, do I have any left? What, did, what was I using those from? Yeah, they're all gone. All right, so let's go here. And we're going to need some sticks. We need a few more of these. And a few more of these. There we go. And also some thaumium ones, right? I don't have thaumium made. No thaumium. Oh my gosh. Erma Gerd. All right, let's uh, take that one out. Put that in there. We'll do 32. Let's see if we got that. We've got that. And not a whole ton of it, but enough. And that should be enough too. All right, so we are now making that stuff. We need a little bit of thaumium. All right, so let's just let's do eight of those, and then let's go into here and make a couple of those, and then we're gonna need a V resonator. Looks like those are all MIA. So let's get some of these made. Uh oh. Oh wait, yeah, we gotta use the these. All right, that should be good. Oh, I need some more blue ones. Oh, darn it. All right, redstone block. And then some of these and some of these. So now I just need to get some blue, some aqua. Oh, I don't have any. Yikes. Hurry up and finish. Oh, did I... Did I show you guys last uh, last time, last up update? We now have Spiritus in here, so I can finish all my whole wall of shards. We have one of each now because Spiritus was not showing up in the Thaumatorium previously, but it is now, so that's good. How much Aqua do I have? I see one in the back there, so we should be good. All right, let's close that. Let's get that up there. Aqua, and let's just whip out a whole bunch of these. There we go. Three of them should be good for now. Get you up there, and you make one, and you make two. All right, so now let's see if we have this thing set up right to where... No, oh, dude! They are just, like, generating flux. Okay, so right off the bat, they just start spewing out flux. All right, so there's the rune there. Okay, I see the runes. They're created down there. So we don't need to power them anymore, which is a good thing. All right, 5.6. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's research that stuff. All right, so that's working. It charges up. That's pretty sweet looking, actually. Um, I can probably shrink that down just a little bit. And then I'll be able to, like, take one and put it here. So then we'll have a whole bunch of these things. So two per thing would hopefully be good, right? Let's get to it. Uh, here's some crazy new stuff. One point six five gain per cycle, zero to one loss per cycle. Not really sure what that means. But I decided to do some runic shielding on some other things. 
and um, we're gonna we're gonna get our V amulet going. That's interesting. 1.65 gain per cycle. Huh. All right. So we're looking good. All right. Oops. No, nope, we don't want to do that. Let's get that one in there. And then let's. Uh, Oh, it's like backwards. It's weird. Okay. So that's that. Oh, we have one too many things here, so it's not going to let me. <gasps> I don't I don't think I have enough of that. Okay, I do. <laughs> I want to see this thing work, man. Give me some uh give me some infusion flux. Some instability. It's very stable. Wow. It's not even budging. What is the stability on these things? This is right there. That's moderate instability, and it still hasn't even changed a bit. Alright, so that's that. Alright, let's do this. Um, we have... Okay, this one's going to cost quite a bit more. So, let's see. I'm not going to have enough of that, I'm pretty sure. i got Potentia, Vitreous, and we need some armor. Um, here, let's drop that stuff in there. Uh, Thaumium boots. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot. That one's got a bit, though. So let's uh, let's get that up there, that up there. You know, I'll probably just make some. What else has, uh, what is that? What is that stuff called? Not Tenebrae, is it? No. Oh, I can't tell. Premunio. So, P R A E. All right. What else do we have that that has that on there? Um, leather. Leather will have it. Rabbit hide. How are we doing with leather? Books have it because it's got leather in it. Maybe leather doesn't have it. Look at that. Enchanted book. That's a weird one. Curse of vanishing. Maybe leather doesn't have it. Where is leather? There it is. It has five. So yeah, let's see. How are we doing with the leather? That should be in here. I can always get more easily. So we'll get that stuff going. Make sure we have some coal in there. Yeah, we're good. There we go. Now it's moving down. Alright, 101 now. So let's get this on Runic Shielding 3. So now we're 0 to 1.2 loss per cycle. So the gain outweighs the loss, which we are in a gain. So I don't think that'll go down because of our stability, I'm, I'm guessing. So we'll have to take a look. Once loss gets higher than gain, we'll see if that goes down. But right now, it is not doing a thing, which is really nice. And there's a way that we can see it. So that's really good. So I'm guessing, I wonder if I didn't have any of those candles down there, if our gain would be 1.65. It would probably be like a gain of 1. I don't know. But as you can see, it's not moving a bit. That's kind of nice. Alright, it's grabbing all that stuff. So that one's done. Alright, let's grab half of these. Let's grab all of these in one of those. We'll split that number in half. And we'll get that in there. And that in there. And let's see what we're at again for the Premunio. Do we have like a lot? 94. I think I want to get more than that in there. Alright, so I'm just going to craft up some stuff here. We'll go with some of these. We'll make just like a whole bunch. 24. 20. Is it worth it for one iron ingot? Screw it. Let's try it. Gain is one point. Okay, still the same. <gasps> that was a lot. 170 something. <laughs> We should be good. I hope. I hope. So by the time we get down there, it'll probably be 120. Well, 
What's it doing? Okay, it's still coming through, so we should be good. Hmm. It doesn't look like it's going to change at all. Man, he really changed stability. He wrote, re -wrote, wrote the whole thing. I'm going to read off to it. It says, uh, instability, or infusion instability mechanics have been completely reworked. Check your Thalmanomicon. Too long, don't read version. Stabilizers simply add a lot of stability to infusion now. All right. So they just add a lot of stability. Uh, but when paired with redstone inlay, can do other fancy things. They no longer use RF. So they just, the way they are, just add stability. Which is cool. So we're going to have to do something a little crazy. Maybe I'll do some causality collapsers or something. That will probably do it, because this is still just very stable. I mean, these things aren't really hard to make. Just add a million of these things everywhere. <laughs> just throw them all underneath it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not going anywhere fast. All right, so now we have uh, runic shielding four on this thing. That's pretty sweet. We got three, three and a half hearts. Any more? All right, I feel like I want to infuse all the stuff. You know, runic shield four. Get everything at least to four. That'd be sweet. Let's see how much of that. We needed 175, right? I know I don't have that much. Holy crap. I'm gonna be I'm gonna burn through a lot of stuff. I'm gonna make like a bunch of leather. Is there a better way? I know I check this all the time. Is there a way to craft leather? Yeah, I can. Oh sweet. Rotten flesh. Oh baby. Uh there's 48 right there. And let's make a whole bunch of leather then. I got a bunch of that. Got a bunch of that. Do I have any more in here? Nope. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, there's a Deerium. Well, I think I went a little overboard on uh, the stabilizers because look at my runic shield now. <laughs> I've got everything at least up to four, and I didn't have one little bit of this changing to stable at all. It didn't drop to stable. Nothing. Nothing happened. So uh, let's just make another... Uh, Dr. Crusher. <laughs> Another Primal Crusher. Yeah, this one's going to do the same thing. It's not going to change anything, even though the instability is high on the thing. But I've uh, I've changed my thing. Oh, oh the Void Pickaxe. Here, we're going to we're going to rename that really quick. I have some good names for them. <laughs> We've got the Dr. Crusher, which is the Primal Crusher, right? Uh, the Void Pickaxe should be the Pick Ard. <laughs> I'm going to call it the Captain. Captain Pickard. Let's do a hyphen there. Um, trying to think of some other other names. Dr. Crusher, Pickard, Captain Pickard. Um, let's see, a Void Axe. What could be an axe? Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to think on these things. The LaForge. Hmm. <laughs> How many of you guys are going to get that reference? Alright, so, yeah, nothing. Nothing. Very stable. So, that's good. I mean, I, I mean, it, we didn't get to see this thing in action, and I don't really want to pull these up and, and try to uh, poke the bear, if you will. Um, so, we're just going to leave it. So, as you guys can see, it does work, and they work well. So, these things add a, quite a bit of stability around here. So, as long as you just make a whole bunch of these, slap them down, you should be good to go. But we've got another uh, crusher, primal crusher going down there, and uh, we should be good. So I want to take this opportunity. We can leave that set in there. Um, I do have to make another golem, uh, but we've got this guy, and he is just obsessively grabbing saplings out and putting them back. Um, if I was to just break a whole bunch of these, he should. I'm just like shift clicking so it doesn't really drop them. So he should pick up, like, everything. And I need to make another breaker guy. Alright, so these are all dropping. He 
he's picking all this stuff up and this stuff's floating next to me, which is fine, but he's planting stuff. And he flies. <laughs> Just because it's awesome. Um, so that's what you got to do. So if we grab the Golemancer's Bell, uh, what I did is I just placed a whole bunch of saplings. And then you put the seal on top of the sapling and whitelist it. And then click empty air. So it will click the air below it. So if there's not empty air there, he's not going to do anything. He's just going to move to the next one. So in the last video, somebody commented. And uh, I will give you props in just a second. All right, I got the name. Sean Burbasol. Burbasol? Burbasol. Sean Burbasol has made the comment in here to tell me how to do this. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't have, I probably would have just given up and not even tried anymore. Uh, but thanks to that comment, we now have the tree farm going. I do, however, need to make another golem, like I said. Because what I was doing when I was building this thing, I was just making sure everything was working. So I was growing some stuff with bone meal. And, well, we may have had a little accident with a golem getting trapped in a block and dying. So I'm going to go ahead and make another block breaker crusher dude. And uh, that will give us some more excuses to enchant. So I want to make a dude. We're going to make him We're gonna make him void metal. He's going to be awesome. Can we do this? Okay. Improve self-repair. We're going to have the uh, armored smart head. Yeah, I like that. Basic arms. Nope, we want the breaker arms. And then we want the uniwheel, climbing legs, levitation. Doesn't matter. Basic legs should be fine with that. Uh, two pistons, a brass plate, white wool, two diamonds, two simple arcane mechanisms, and the biothomic mind. So the only thing we're really going to have to make is the biothomic mind. So let's do that. Biothomic mind is right here. Arcane complex mechanism. Um, okay, the clockwork mine's really easy to make, so let's go ahead and whip one of these out. I'm just going to get this stuff already and get it in there. All right, let's give them some armor plating too, and it just costs a little more void metal, and I think some more machina. So we've got our guy getting made. That's good. I like how you can put stuff in the chest now. It really makes things a lot better and easier, and easier to keep track of. So clumsy, that's fine. Heavy frame. Smart and brutal. All right, so he's got his claws. He's a breaker. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Let's get him down and have him start breaking stuff. So you can, like, hang out right here. Look at you. Look at you all purple and stuff and smart. There we go. Let's see if he can figure it out. Just don't stand. <laughs> Where are you going? All right, go back to your main spot so you don't get stuck in a tree. All right, good, good, I like it, I like it. So he's gonna drop that off. Hmm. Okay, good. I thought he was just gonna stand there picking up and setting down saplings. I like how they fly around and stuff, it's awesome. Oh, he's pretty quick with that one. There we go. So the tree farm's working, I'm happy for that. Oh, there's another one. Go get it. Go get it, little dude. Sometimes I like to just watch them do their thing. All right. So we did a whole bunch of uh, stabilization. Got a bunch of that stuff working. Um, got the tree farm up and running. I mean, it's pretty basic. Uh, I'll, I'll go through. We've got the use seals right here. And you just put them on top of the block you want to you wanna pick. Um, we've got a gather one and we've got the area pretty wide and then I've got the block breaker one so we also need a way to put stuff in here so we've got a store one right here and he's just gonna put whatever is in there and then I I did this I don't know why but I just kind of put it in there I did a provide seal it it doesn't make a bit of difference because I was trying to figure out if I could stop him from doing that and I really can't but then after we get all that stuff then we have the I think it's provide is it the provide one no, empty. Yeah, we want the empty seal on there because we want him to be able to grab stuff out just in case we don't have saplings or anything like that so he can grab saplings and plant them when he needs to. So we're going to actually whitelist that. And the only thing he's going to be able to grab is going to be this. So that is the only thing he's going to be able to try to plant there. And we should be good. 
So the U seals, they are all white listed to that so he doesn't try placing like a piece of wood down or something like that and get stuck. So it's really relatively simple tree farm. Though the main thing to do, to make sure you do, is go click empty air. So you want to make sure that that is done. Click empty air. Request provisioning from whitelist. I wonder if I went through and did all that. He has no reason to grab anything. Request provisioning from whitelist. Let's do that. Request provisioning from whitelist. Look at him growing like crazy now. Uh, let's wait till he chops that one. So, well, we've only got that one and that one left. Request provisioning from that. Request provisioning. Okay. Now, are you going to have a reason to grab that? Because that is, right? That's the provisioning one, right? Oh, no, that's stock. Yeah, right? Here, let's take a look in the Thaumonomicon really quick. I haven't spent too much time on golems, so provide. Okay, do we need? Mm. Oh, it requires a provide seal. And I think I probably have a provide seal downstairs. Do it. Do it. Oh, what did I do? Did I place a seal somewhere? Okay. Let me see if I have a provide seal down here. Um, I do. Let's do that. Provide. Whitelist them. Nope. Always have at least one item. Single item only. Let's see what happens. Okay, he wants to plant. Planted. He planted. He's planting. That's good. Plant. Ooh, I might be onto something there. I'm not sure what he tried doing there. Oh, he's see, he's doing it again. I gotta figure out a way to do that. Any help in the comments would be helpful. <laughs> always have at least one item. No, we don't always want him to have one item, right? What if I put, should I put the stock one on there too? Whitelist that? No, because that's going to stock this chest, right? Alright, so we requested provisioning. I'm glad you're having fun there, little golem. Hmm. All right. But anyway, it works. I will catch you guys next time. My name is Marty signing out. Peace.